So here's a summary of what we do in machine learning. First, we train a bunch of models with our training data. Then we use the cross-validation data to pick the best of these models. And finally, we test it with the testing data to make sure our model is good. So here's an example of training a logistic regression model. Let's say we have four candidates. We train a model of degree one, which is a line, and one of degree two, three, and four. We train them with the training data to find the slope and the coefficients of the polynomials, etc. Then we use the cross-validation data to calculate, say, the F1 score of all these models. And then we pick the model with the highest F1 score. As a final step, we use our testing data to make sure our model is good. So the parameters of the algorithm in this case are the coefficients of the polynomial. But the degree of the polynomial is like a metaparameter. We call those hyperparameters. Let's see another example. Let's say we're training a decision tree. So what are the hyperparameters? Well, one of them is depth. Let's say we have one of depth one, two, three, and four. We use the training data to train a bunch of trees of depth one, two, three, and four. So the parameters here are the thresholds in the leaves and the nodes, etc. Then we take the F1 score and calculate it on the cross-validation set on each of these models. Then we pick the one that did the best. And finally, with the testing set, we make sure this model is good. So what happens if we have more than one hyperparameter? Here we only have one, which is depth. What if we're training a support vector machine? So in an SVM, we have some hyperparameters like the kernel, which can be linear or polynomial, for example. And we also have the gamma parameter, which if it's small, gives us solutions like this. And if it's large, it gives us solutions like that. So how do we pick the best combination between kernel and gamma? Well, very simple. It's called grid search. And it literally just says, make a table with all the possibilities and pick the best one. Our columns here are the different kernels we can use, linear and polynomial. And our rows are the different values of gamma. It's recommended to take a few values that grow exponentially, such as 0 0.1, 1, 10, 100, 1,000, etc. So again, we use our training set to train a bunch of linear models and polynomial models with different values of gamma. Then we use the cross-validation set to calculate the F1 score on all these models. And then we simply pick the one with the highest F1 score. And finally, we use a testing set to make sure that what we did was good. 